Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hello students. In this session, we are, we'll, we are going to discuss about the problem based on dimensional analysis. This type of problem is very common in your school exams, in your board exams, as well as for different competitive exams. So we'll use the concept of dimensional analysis to find the mathematical expression of a particular parameter showing its dependence on different other factors. So let's read the problem. It says, time period capital T of a small drop of liquid due to surface tension depends on density rho, radius r and surface tension where the value of the surface tension or the uh, form in which it can be written, it's written as force per unit length, right? So you have to derive mathematical expression of time period showing its dependence on above parameters. So most of us, many of us are not yet familiar with this particular surface tension. So for the time being, surface tension can be written as force per unit length. This amount of information is sufficient, right? So what has been said, we have been said we have to find the expression of time period, right? So we can say time period is equals to some constant k into what are the different parameters? One is density. So let's say it depends on density of having power to the power x. We don't know about x, right? It, it varies with the radius to the power y and it varies with surface tension to the power z. So once we know this particular value of x, y, z, we can say how time period is related to this different parameters. So what should be the dimension of time period? It must be time. So I can write it as capital T is equals to what is the dimension of density? So density or we can calculate it equals to mass per unit volume, right? So in terms of fundamental unit, I can write it as m l to the power minus 3, all right? So density, I can write it as, I'm just ignoring this constant k for the time being. So this can be written as m l to the power minus 3 whole to the power x. Radius must have the dimension of length, right? So I can write it as L to the power Y and surface tension as given in the problem, surface tension is equals to force per unit length. So what should be the dimension of surface tension? So surface tension is equals to force, force is mass into acceleration divided by length. Right, we know force can be written as mass into acceleration. So this can be further written as m into acceleration is what? Length per unit time square. That is L t to the power minus 2 divided by length. So L, L, L get cancelled. So surface tension has got the dimension of m t to the power minus 2. All right, so we'll write it as m t to the power minus 2 whole to the power z. Now what do we have to do? We have to find the value of x, y, z so that we can write how time period depends on density, radius and surface tension. So say in this side we have got t to the power 1, alright, l to the power 0 as well as m to the power 0. Now in this side, let's segregate m, l and t. So if you find m, I can write m as, in this equation there is m, so this is to the power x, and here I have got m, right? So this can be done as x plus z, all right? Now what about l? l can be written as, here it is minus 3x, so here l to the power minus 3 into x, so this is minus 3x, here it is to the raised to the power y, so it is minus 3x plus y. And in this case, we don't have any length parameter, right? Now what about t? 
In the first part there is no T, in the second part there is no T, only the third part has got T and it is equals to minus 2Z. Now we will try to compare the power of each of this fundamental quantity of the right hand side with the left hand side power. So see if you compare the power of T, here it is minus 2Z and here it is 1. So we can write minus 2Z is equal to 1. So comparing powers, right? So first equation we have got minus 2z equal to 1. From here we can write z is equals to minus half, right? So we have got the value of z. Now let's compare the power of mass. So in the left hand side it is equals to 0. And on the right hand side it is x plus z. So x plus z is equals to 0, mark it as equation number 2. And if you compare the power of length, length has got y minus 3x and this, is, this must be equal to 0. So comparing the power of length, here it is y minus 3x that is equals to 0. So this is equation number 3. So from equation number 1 we have already got the value of z. Right. Now from equation number 2 we can write x equals to minus z. So x will be equals to plus half. Alright. So you have got the value of x. We have got the value of z. Now what remains is y. So y equals to what? y equals to 3 times x. That is 3 by 2. So you have got the value of x, y and z. And primarily we have assumed that time period depends on rho to the power x, right? So I can write now time period is proportional to because we don't know the value of constant, right? So time period is equals to rho to the power x. So it means rho, let's complete the bracket, right? Raised to the power half, r to the power y. What is the value of y? value of y is 3 by 2. So I can write it as r cube, right? Because r we can we can write it as r to the power 3 by 2. So I have inserted r cube inside the bracket and it tick, it varies with s as s to the power z. So surface tension to the power z and the value of z is minus half. So I can put this as s. So this is the mathematical required mathematical relation how time period is dependent on density, radius and surface tension. So student in this particular way just solving the simultaneous linear equation by assuming the power of a particular quantity as it varies with a given quantity and with, by writing just the dimension of those quantity and equating the power of those fundamental quantities in both the side, we can find the value of these unknowns. So in this particular problem, this is how the time period varies with the given parameters. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.